basically what happened was um, the roads were pretty much completely clear and there was a very light snowfall and then in an instant there was literally zero visibility you couldn't see anything in front of you and the the from what, where i'm sitting right now the three semi trucks that i can see that are blocking in front of me um they're completely white so as the cars started to run into each other when the zero visibility hit the only reason that i even knew that the cars were colliding was because the vehicle that ran into one of them was like a maroon covered colored cadillac yeah. and that's when i realized oh my gosh they're running into each other and i went towards the um the cement um barrier on the the side of the road sarah what goes through your mind when you're involved in something like this and seeing it and hearing it it was it was absolutely awful my first instinct was i obviously i, I stepped on the brakes but i mean my, my dad taught me well so i didn't you know you know slam on my brakes but as i started to touch them i realized oh my god the, the road is icy and as i looked up that's when i realized that the cars were colliding and i thought just do anything i can to first of all not run into somebody else but obviously to not you know to not you know get hit right and so so, so you, you're you're paying attention to what's going on in front of you and of course i assume looking in your rearview mirror to see if anyone's coming at you as well exactly right? yep exactly and, and you did not end up hit you did end up hit explain that again i, I did not what actually happened was um as i as the cars in front of me began to collide, um, I, I was luckily in um, one of the slower lanes of traffic, and I moved over to the edge where the um, the cement barrier is on the, let's say, passenger side of the, yes. the highway, and I stopped my vehicle, and I stayed in my car. The car directly next to me, which would be behind me at that point, ran into each other, and then as I looked up, I saw the two semis jackknife and realized that they had cut off tra traffic flow into this kind of... It's almost like a little canyon that had been created by these other vehicles. Mm, so you were okay. What can you tell us about your awareness of any injuries or any casualties or anything? Are you aware? What have you What have you been seeing? Um, I would actually really uh, rather not talk about that, to be honest. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I got out of my vehicle once I realized that the cars had jackknifed and I saw a vehicle, which I would prefer not to mention to make, model, or color mm -hmm. in case that there was a casualty, but... Someone had mentioned to me that their spouse and possibly children were in their vehicle, and when I went over to look, um, no one was responsive. So oh, um, I went back into my vehicle. Uh, can you tell and me? They're, uh, they're still in the process because they've cleared the vehicles in front of them now, and I can actually see that car. Um, they're still in the process of, it looks like, extracting people from that vehicle. They are. They are. Yes, ma'am. Have you been told, have, have firefighters and rescue workers come up to you and told you to stay in your car? Or are you just doing that because you know, I mean, it's what we're always told, right? Getting out is a yes. dangerous thing. And I mean, I realize cars aren't moving around you right now, but um, yeah. but have you been told to stay in your car? What what um, are all of you involved being told? The, basically, um, I was approached, I've been approached by several emergency response workers, firefighters, EMS, and um, police officers to verify that I'm okay and that I'm not injured and that I don't need to go to the hospital. And several people, um, I asked, should I stay in my vehicle um, if I'm able to move my car is completely undamaged not even a dent um, so should I get my vehicle off the road and they said they had me pulled back on um, towards the back of the road by the police officers car and um, told me to just stay in my vehicle for now and they would let me know if they needed me to move <sighs> And I, I understand. I don't know if any of the officers were telling you. I mean, it could be as, as many as three dozen vehicles. Are you hearing any numbers at all, Sarah? Um, I have not heard any numbers, but the first thing I heard was um, I actually checked your, um, I used the app to check your website and I actually saw 15. I can guarantee you right now, um, visibly, I can see more than 15 vehicles. So there have got to be more than 15 involved. Wow, I would say so. Those were the early reports I know that MDOT was yes, giving us. But yep. Sarah, I, I thank you for taking the time to talk to us. We are, are so happy that you're okay. We Our thoughts and prayers are with those who, who could be struggling and, and hearing about casualties and, you know, possible fatalities. We don't know. But, um, Sarah, stay safe. We've got your number. We may be back in touch. But thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Thank you.